The prosecution summed up its case against Jerry Sandusky, telling jurors the former Penn State assistant coach is a, quote, serial predatory pedophile. Lead prosecutor Joseph McGettigan reminded jurors about the graphic testimony of the eight men who claimed Sandusky sexually assaulted them as boys. He defended the accuser's years of silence, saying they did not immediately come forward because they, quote, tried to bury what happened to them. McGettigan ended his summation by standing directly behind Sandusky, telling the jury he can't give back their souls or the pieces of their souls that he took. Give them justice. Find him guilty. Sandusky turned around and glanced up at the prosecutor as he stood behind him. Some of Sandusky's accusers were in the courtroom. So was his wife, Dottie. In his closing argument, defense attorney Joe Amendola hammered away at the credibility of star witness Mike McQuarrie, the only eyewitness to testify he saw Sandusky abusing a boy in a campus shower. Amendola said McQuarrie assumed he saw something and reminded jurors that not McQuarrie and no one he told, not even school officials, ever called police. Amendola portrayed Sandusky as the victim of overzealous investigators, greedy accusers, and a legal system that convicted him before his arrest. Jurors must now sort through 48 criminal counts. If convicted, the 68-year-old could spend the rest of his life in prison. Manuel Gallegos, CBS News, Belfont, Pennsylvania.